We live in times of great anxiety. But the Bible teaches, don't be anxious. Instead, it reminds us that He will heal this land. God works through each of us to fulfill that prophecy. Now, I know that many of you all are frustrated. So am I. I know that many of you do not like the mask requirement. I don't either. It is the last thing that I wanted to do. Actually, the next to last. The last thing that any of us want is to lock Texas back down again. We must do all that we can to prevent that. But each day, the facts get worse. In just the past month, hospitalizations increased every day and quadrupled to more than 10,000. Many regions are running out of ICU beds and deaths have almost quadrupled, reaching more than 100 in one day last week. If we don't slow this disease quickly, our hospitals will get overrun and I fear it will even inflict some of the people that I'm talking to right now. Well, I also know that many of you say that my orders are unconstitutional. But remember, I was the Attorney General who fought for your First Amendment, your Second Amendment, and your Tenth Amendment rights at the United States Supreme Court. I will never abandon the Constitution. And I haven't here. The conservative Fifth Circuit Federal Court of Appeals, in an opinion by a Trump appointee, recently upheld the constitutionality of my executive order authority. The court ruled that even a minor delay in the state's emergency measures could have major ramifications. The court held that my executive order is a constitutional and even necessary response to the pandemic crisis. Now I know there are issues that we may differ on, but I also know there is so much that we agree on. Things like beating Joe Biden and reelecting Donald Trump. Now Joe Biden, he may be hiding in his basement somewhere, but we know exactly what his vision for America is. Joe Biden and the Democrats, they want to cancel conservative speech. They want to grab your guns and tax your churches. They want to dismantle the greatest economy the world has ever known. We need a president who will promote American patriotism, not desecrate it. We need a president who will support our law enforcement officers, not defund them. We need a president who will secure our border defend the unborn and fight for religious liberty. We need to reelect Donald J. Trump as President of the United States of America. As Republicans, we must unite around this common cause. We must work together to seize this defining moment in our history. We must save our nation from the grips of socialism and ensure that we remain one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all.